Researchers in Seattle want to study grocery store clerks, bus drivers, and other essential workers to figure out how the coronavirus spreads. They're trying to recruit volunteers at high risk of contracting the virus. Kara Seven's Graham Johnson found out how this study could answer some nagging questions. There's a lot scientists don't know about COVID-19. Essential workers could be key to finding those answers. We already owe so much to people on the front lines, healthcare workers, first responders, grocery store employees, bus drivers. Researchers at Fred Hutch say essential workers have a unique opportunity to help in one more way. We look for people who still, uh, through their work, are in close contact with other people. Dr. Michael Book is leading a study called COVID Watch that's recruiting people likely exposed to coronavirus. He wants to sign up two or 300 people in the Seattle area and monitor them for six months. Maybe do want to understand uh, how the virus behaves. Every week, participants will give themselves a COVID swab test. Once a month, they'll take a quick blood sample with one of these devices and mail it in for an antibody test. We wanted to make this uh, very easy for people to participate. Dr. Book's team will track if people become infected, whether they show symptoms, and how sick they get. That will help figure out how intensely the virus replicates and how antibodies respond. It will also help answer the big question of whether people who had COVID can get it again. There is some uh, big interest in this since there have been some reports where that apparently was the case, but we know very little about it. Fred Hutch researchers hope their work helps in developing a vaccine. So there might be a day when essential workers and all of us are protected. Researchers particularly want to hear from people of color, many of whom have been hit hard by COVID-19. You can find a link to the study recruitment page with this story on Cairo7.com. Participants will be paid up to $500. Graham Johnson, Cairo 7 News.